Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're continuing working on our Yamaha Drive or the G29. We have a Jake's front brush guard we're going to install. It'll be a quick video for us. The only thing we need to make sure is we got a broom, mop, or a long piece of wood handy. Just a minute, I'll show you why. Grab our wrenches, let's go get started. Okay, the first thing we want to do is take these little rubber grommets, take them loose and slide them up. We want to take these bolts out. Okay, now before we completely take them out, this is where the broom, mop, or a long piece of wood comes in. We want to support this roof assembly. So, I got me a little one before, fit it on here, put it up there, that'll hold my top. Now let's go do the other side the same way. Take the bolts out. So we've got our two uh, top supports, the bolts out, so they're loose. Now, right underneath here, right in the very center, on the back side is a 10 millimeter bolt. We want to take that loose. I actually take that one out. Because the brace, or the brush guard, is going to go right underneath there. Now let's get our brush guard. Okay, the braces that hold up the brush guard are going to go to the inside of the rubber grommet. So I'm going to put a little WD-40 all on the back side of it. That way it actually slip in better and won't be hanging up with me. I'm going to do that to both sides. And now, hook it underneath. We'll put our braces in one side at a time. And we'll just line it up and put our bolts right back in. Now, all we want to do is get these in oh, about halfway. We do not want to tighten these up until we get all the bolts in. Once we get them in, then we'll come back around and tighten everything up. Okay, I've got that one tight. Now let's go back and tighten these others and I can get that board out of the way. Okay, we got our Jake's brush guard on, mounted, it's good and solid. Gives the golf cart a good, sleek, unique look. Now, in shipping, these little braces here may get bent or just a little bit out of whack. You may have to bend it just a little bit by hand so that it fits on the outside of each bar and inside of this grommet. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage. 